beast of a car. Um, I got to Muskegon knowing that that Friday night there, the national car rental counter at the airport closed at 6, I landed at 7.30. So I knew that that night I'd be out without a rental car, called to head to the hotel, knew I had to take a taxi there, made sure that they were near something so I could like get dinner and my coworkers are laughing at me calling ahead to make sure that I was going to be close to something. I was like, well, if you're going to be stranded without a car, I want to be near something. I was just planning ahead. Don't want to be stranded anywhere. So it turns out I was still a mile away from stuff Friday night on a busy road and it was late, getting late and I was like, but I just really want an alcoholic beverage and ice cream. So I made the venture down the road and then regretted that decision as soon as I realized I was still wearing my flip flops and then my feet hurt after a two mile walk in flip flops and going back was dark and probably not safe that I was wandering around on a busy road but um whatever so got to the airport the next morning got my rental car left my rain jacket in the taxi didn't have enough money to pay for the taxi but there was no ATM in the hotel or airport how is that even possible? No ATM in an airport. So, paid the guy $2 less than he should have been paid and then had to call him and he brought back my rain jacket. I left it in the car. Um, and then, so the guy was like, oh, I got a brand new Chevy HHR for you. And I was like, fine. He's like, it's right over there, it's white. And I was like, okay. And so I lean over and I see what I think is the car. Um, it looked like a, like a Kia, like something little. And so I was like, okay. And then he's like, it's a bit of a far walk, sorry. You know, Avis and Hertz have spots before ours. And I was like, no problem. Like, I have legs, I'm capable of walking. So I'm walking and I realized the car that I thought that was a car was silver. And he said it was white. And I was like, well, that's weird. And I was like, I don't see any white car around here. So I press the, the beeper to unlock the car and I see the lights flash further down on this, the car. And I was like, oh my God, I am not driving this thing for the week. But here I am in this car. My dear friend Amy called it a hearse. It pretty much is like a hearse. Um, it's like super long and back and it has awful blind spots and it has a weird small windshield. It's not that big, you can't really tell right now, but it's awful. But it drives pretty smoothly for an awful car. Awful looking car, I just get embarrassed every time I get out. Um, but yeah, it drives pretty smoothly and it was 700 miles on and when I first got it, I now ha it is 1,687 miles. So I've driven almost 900 miles or a little bit more than 900 miles in this car and I've still got more to go. So exciting work adventure. Um, so I'm quickly approaching Oshkosh, Wisconsin. I'm going to stop there for lunch because why not? Um, so. I'll keep you posted if Oshkosh has any interesting stories.